baby we have made it or almost made it okay today is thursday but it, it just you know it's been action-packed week that's what i like to use when i when i say that you know it feels like the, the days are long it feels like work has been hard it's been a lot of work going on it's it's, it's unusually normal and if you're feeling like a lot of things have been happening this week or a lot of, you know, not, I'm not even seeing stress. I'm just seeing consistency when it comes to a routine for a job or whatever. Like, it's just been like, okay, here we go again. I got this kind of um, attitude and, and energy right now, okay? So welcome back to Just Your Dream Guide. Y'all already know how this goes. Channel messages first. And that's the first thing that I'm feeling is that pool of like, okay, just keep going, just keep going. Uh, what's that door? Just keep swimming. <laughs> but I'm just seeing that for the collective because I just, like I said, I'm seeing somebody just fighting through the week here. But we're almost there, all right? It's Friday Eve. We're almost there. I'm also seeing someone like still, I'm still seeing this grief, okay? It's like a hint of grief that also is impacting some people's lives. And it's not like you even kind of feel it. You just know it's there. Um, I'm hearing, you know, just going through memories, lots and lots of memories of somebody, somebody who's passed on. I'm still getting that energy. Not as strong as yesterday. However, it's still residually there. You know, remembering good times with them, whether it was a friend, cousin, brother, sister, grandmother, uncle, grandfather, father, you know, whatever the case may be. You're just having these nostalgic moments. That's what I'm hearing is nostalgia. So it's making the week go by a little bit slower as well. And it's so funny because it's underlying energy. It's not like it's just out there. Like, oh man, I miss my grandmother. Oh man, I miss my uncle. Oh my, I miss my sister. Like, it's not like that. It is, it's residual. It's one of those things where I gotta keep moving. When I stop moving, I just, you know, it doesn't feel right. And that's another thing that I wanna point out too. When it comes down to like, um, you know, just knowing, your inner knowing and your intuition. Days seem longer when you decide to sit with things. And it's okay to sit with things sometimes, okay? It's okay to say, okay, I'm just gonna take the day. I'm not gonna do anything. You know how we are, like, I'm just gonna watch TV all day. I don't wanna be bothered all day. Whatever the case may be, I'm just seeing that, um, I'm not asking you to be a workaholic, but I'm asking you to put your mind towards something else, all right? It's gonna really help you. And the day is going to go by so fast and you're going to be like, whoo, where'd the day go? I feel like that's what this week has been like, but when it slows down, like when it stops, like after you, you know, the day is going by, you take your shower, your bath, or whatever the case may be, however you unwind after you've eaten and you're getting ready to get in your bed or whatever the case may be, you know, I'm just seeing that it's just like, okay, so, you know, I'm seeing Divine Feminine like, all right, so I'm alone. That's great. You know, and then I'm seeing Divine Masculine like, man, I'm, I'm missing out on times with her. I'm missing out on times. Or him take it as it resonates. You know how I am about these things. Take it as it resonates. But I'm just seeing somebody just really, really like, I mean, it's the night energy. It's the nighttime energy. Or if you have a day job, it's, it's just when you stop moving, okay? When your mind stops moving. So Father's encouraging you, and you might be getting some guidance again from your ancestors, from your loved ones, your past loved ones, to just... Focus on something right now, even if it's not just work, okay? Like, start painting, start coloring. Coloring is a good idea as well. It, You know, you put all your energy into that. I'm not saying ignore the feeling of nostalgia. I'm just saying sometimes we can help move the time along without moving time, you know, because that's one thing we can't control is time. We're, we're at the mercy of time. Time is doing its thing. So with that being said, it's time to focus on, not on you, because I'm not going to say focus on you. I'm going to say put your focus on something, you know, to do with your hands and your mind. So then when you go to sleep, it's an absolute crash. Again, I have to emphasize this because Father is really emphasizing this. Do not become a workaholic. Do not lose yourself in work. Like, I'm just going to work until I, like, I pass out at the job. That's not what I'm asking you to do, and that's not what Father's saying, okay? He's just saying find something to do with your mind, okay? Even if it's reading a book, when's the last time y'all read a book, okay? You know, submerge yourself into the story. It's not always about drowning out with the TV, because I do that, especially on the weekends. I just watch my movies, especially because, you know, Christmas time is here. I've been watching Christmas movies and stuff like that. But, you know, just focusing 
on something else. Like, you know, I'm hearing grab a book, okay? Bottom of the deck energy is the moon. And that's so crazy because I told y'all the other day this new moon energy has been bringing about this this nostalgia, this this intuitive moment though. Y'all just know, you know, but being in the inner knowing, being in your intuitive sight, knowing things, it kind of makes you lose yourself in your emotions. So, Father is saying, don't lose yourself in emotions. It's okay to feel, but there's a balance there, okay? Don't fall all the way to the bottom, but understand that the light is illuminating you to let you know and see things are coming in. And they are. I'm not just saying that, okay? So, allow things to just come in. Allow time to do its thing. When it comes down to the moon energy, remember to trust your intuition on this as well. All right? That's what I have for you all, okay? Let's go into today's messages. Y'all know how we do it with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and then the love messages at the end to wrap up this full reading. Let's get some more clarity on today. Next is Divine Masculine, so next video, next message. Thank you so much for your time, y'all, as usual. Divine Masculine, I'm hearing that music is going to help you this week, or it's been helping you, whatever the case may be. Turn on some music. I'm hearing nostalgia real, real loud for you, though. Nostalgia is very, very, very big with you, okay? Because you feel like you're missing out. I'm hearing fear of missing out because you feel like you're missing time out with not only somebody that you've lost, you know, in the past, but you're scared to lose your present moment, divine feminine right now, okay? Because you need time to work things out. And so I'm hearing that you're focusing a lot on work, a lot, a lot, a lot. So that's why Father kept emphasizing in the channel messages don't become a workaholic here, okay? It's okay to get your mind off of it, but don't go overboard when it comes down to it, okay? So y'all know how we do it here, situation and action outcome. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine today. What's the situation for Divine Masculine, Father? What is Divine Masculine's situation? We got the King of Cups. Yes, very emotional, Father. is saying stabilize that, okay? Look at that, and that's a sound bowl. Ah! I'm telling you, music is important to you right now to balance those emotions you're using it as a tool which is great because i'm hearing that you're getting through your week like even if it's something that you know something that you i'm hearing that you're avoiding kind of like love music but you're listening to something to kind of pump you up and get you going i'm hearing work music really okay divine masculine but you know sometimes it's okay to open your mind to some love music i'm hearing that you're like rejecting like rhythm and blues you're rejecting r&b and i'm hearing that you're rejecting like you know, soft, melodic music right now because you don't want to think about your Divine Feminine right now. Even though you're thinking about her heavily is what I'm hearing. You're thinking about them heavily, but you don't want to think about it. You're, you're trying to avoid that emotion. Well, not really trying to avoid it. You're just like, I know. I know how they feel about me. Let me work and get towards this. Let me make this work out. The action to a pinnacle. Yeah, like I said, you've been working hard. You got a lot going on. A lot, a lot, a lot going on. And then again, like what I'm seeing here with the Two of Pentacles is like I said, not only are you in nostalgia because of this person that you lost in the past, it could be a brother, it could be a sister, it could be a mother, a grandmother, grandfather, whoever this person is, you're also scared to lose your divine feminine here. So it's like nostalgia on both ends. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the, the like, you know, I'm seeing the instability when it comes to that because you're like, ah. I missed out on past moments. I miss moments with my person here, but I also miss moments that I could be having right now with them here. So lots and lots going on. And again, lots of work going on. Lots and lots going on at work as well. All right. Um, give me the outcome for Divine Masculine here. And Father's saying that that's, that's absolutely normal. I thought something fell. He's saying that that's absolutely normal. So your action is to just enjoy the nostalgia right now, you know. You know how to balance it using the sound, using music. I'm, I got my music deck out, no joke, because I just heard music for you, Divine Masculine. What's the outcome? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working hard for this money. I just heard we work hard for the money. <laughs> so hard for it, honey. <laughs> oh, that's so funny because I, I don't, you know, literally I don't listen to that song like ever. But it almost hit me like a music, you know, like a movie. But you're working hard for this money, and you're going to get this money. And I'm hearing it's because you want to present a ring. You want to present yourself in the correct way. You want to prove yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Proving yourself that you're worthy of your divine feminine. And it's not unworthiness anymore. You just want to make sure that you have the stability to bring in 
to and the emotional stability as well as the pinnacles here okay so that's news of new money that's why you're working so hard you might be coming up for a promotion here or you might just be working really hard for this money and um you know a scholarship or whatever the case may be bottom of the deck energy is three of swords yeah like i said healing you're healing from the past man i can't make this up the grief that i'm seeing here between you and this this past loved one is just it's wild okay and it's very heavy and you're scared to lose this other person so it's like you know your heart being torn apart literally all right but the three of swords comes to let you know to just breathe okay healing is taking place within you at least you can recognize that the healing is taking place okay let's get an enchanted map card real quick and see what's going on and then we'll end this with a music card divine masculine father give me an enchanted map dragon's lair everything feels frozen everything feels frozen in time and you're like where do i go from here and father's like look you stay right here right here you're in the right place right now he has you right where he wants you to be so don't move he's got you protected because whatever you're focused on is keeping you away from addictions it's keeping you away from bad decisions it's keeping you away from like bad ideas whatever you're focused on and i'm hearing work here and i'm hearing that you know you're trying to uh, honor your loved one here and i'm hearing that you're trying to really really go towards your divine feminine so father's like freeze just just freeze for right now he's got you in a deep freeze here with the dragon's lair because whatever's coming he's like this is for legacy this is for legacy is what i keep hearing right now is legacy 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 okay let's get a music card to wrap this up for divine masculine here what's going on with divine masculine what's on their mind give me a song to divine feminine what do they want to sing to their divine feminine father because this is my love deck here, Twin Flame Music Oracle. That's not on sale yet. But my other deck is, okay, I'll, I'll talk about that a little later. Trust. That's what you want your divine feminine to do is trust. She's like, let me be the one who can take you from all the things you see. And if you trust in me, I can be there for anything you need. Oh, my gosh. Y'all know I'm not a singer, but bam, that's what you want to sing to your divine feminine. Trust me, please. Okay, that's what you want to say. So that's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. Let's go to Divine Feminine, all right? Uh, so next video, next message. Thank you so much for your time as usual. Thank you. Divine Feminine, okay? So I'm hearing shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off, okay? This feeling that you're feeling, shake it off, okay? Um, and you specifically is who I'm hearing right now right right now is um who needs to be reading a book or something you know submerge yourself in a story even if it's a good movie you know sometimes movies don't grab my attention the whole way though i'm not gonna lie so that's why i'm saying a book because it becomes colorful you get to look at the different confirmation excuse me oh confirmation i am talking to you about this book read a book I, and that sounds so crazy but read a book okay because it's something about the illustration in your mind. That's what I'm saying. Shake it off. You need to change your mind. Your eyes and stuff, we perceive things when we're watching a movie or watching TV or watching a show. We can, you know, easily get distracted. I mean, how many of us watch a movie and then we're sitting there on our phones or doing something else or typing or whatever, whatever, whatever. But a book has to grab your whole attention. So I'm here and read a book. What's the situation for Divine Feminine Father? Judgment. Let go. Shake it off. <laughs> You gotta let go of that control of your mind, okay? Judgment has been called on a lot of things and you have to stop judging the situation. You're like, well, why aren't they here? And you know, the holidays are here and da 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 And you know, I bet they're over there doing this or maybe they're healing or maybe they're not. Or maybe they're, you know, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing and fathers like surrender, let go, shake it off. You gotta shake those thoughts off, Divine Feminine. What's the action for Divine Feminine Father for today? What's the action? And we got Eight of Cups. I mean, I think you got this yesterday, huh? You know, and I'm hearing let go and let God. Sometimes you gotta really walk away from a situation to just let Father handle it. Look how she's burning that. Like, I mean, and it's so crazy because it looks like the same sound bowl that was in um the, the last Divine Masculine's picture here. But look how she's just like, she's like, okay, I'm giving it to God. Like, I'm literally like going to burn this incense. Whatever this is, it's burning. Let it burn, okay? And walk away because honestly, you know, here your person comes. When they come in, it's going to be like, okay, 
You already know it. You know that they're coming, okay? So just walk away. It's okay to walk away. That's what I'm hearing. Shake it off, you know, because you want to sit there and monitor the fire. You want to see if it's still lit. You want to see if it's still going anywhere, and it is. Father's saying, trust him. You got to turn your back on this and walk away. And I don't mean turn your back on your person. Don't take it like that. That's very coming out clear to clear clarify that part. But I mean, just, you know, walk away. Walk towards your happiness. And that's why you got to shake away your thoughts. What's the outcome here for Divine Feminine? <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles. That's just like, you know, you want to watch the tree grow. You want to watch the, the fire burn. You want to watch it all. And Father's like, look, let him handle it. With the Seven of Pentacles being here, he's like, let him handle it. He's got this. You cannot plant a tree and sit there and watch it grow the whole time. I mean, you can. But then your mind is going to be like, is the tree growing? I mean, I think I saw a little growth yesterday. You're not going to be able to tell until this actually happens, until the tree actually formulates itself into a tree and comes in. So when your divine masculine is growing up, that's what I'm hearing. But you're not, you're not going to be able to monitor this. So stop monitoring this, okay? Bottom of the deck energy is the ten of wands. Yeah, you, you're kind of a little stressed out. You're stressing yourself out, though, is what I'm hearing. And when it comes down to work, you're doing a lot of work. Father's like, don't be a workaholic. Again, that was divine masculine. That was actually in the channel messages. Do not be a workaholic, but find something to do creatively with your mind because you're carrying too many burdens, too many thoughts is what I'm hearing, okay? Too many thoughts here, divine feminine. Let's get an um, enchanted map card and then we'll get a song card here. All right, let's see. Where do you go from here? Where does divine, and then it's so crazy because I'm saying, where do you go from here? I grab this deck, y'all know me, I grab the decks before I sit down. So I just go to where I'm being led to. But look, you're being led somewhere else. You're being led, you're being led. So yeah, where do you go from here is what you want to know. Well, I know for sure you don't just sit around and wait for it. Because Father keeps giving you pictures of letting go and walking, walking, movement, okay? So let's see what Father, what does Father have for a divine feminine Father? What do you have for divine feminine from the enchanted map? Gentle Gardener. <laughs> That's so crazy because Gentle Gardener is him watching over this. Let him monitor this. Okay? It's going to grow. It's going to bloom. Gentle Gardener. A gardener doesn't plant the seed and then they go, let me see. Let me move the soil around a little bit. Let me peek. Let me take a peek at the seed. Let me see if it's growing yet. <laughs> let me see if my divine masculine is growing up. Let me see. Father's like, look, let him watch. Let him take care of this, okay? Or her, you know, whoever whoever our creator is. I always say our father because, you know, biblically raised in the church, me personally. So, you know, the Lord's prayer, our father who art in heaven, that's what we call our creator. But, you know, we also have Mother Earth. So that's what I say. You know, it just depends on how you see things. Whatever your intentions are, that's what it is. That's how I always feel, okay? But anyways, you know, our creator is looking over this and guiding this. And making sure that it grows so again <laughs> you you're getting told like two or three times today to just let go and allow that allow father to monitor the situation again you do not plant a tree and then sit there and watch it you let it grow give me a song from divine feminine what do you want to tell your masculine oh and that came out immediately oh a house is not a home i told you that's why you need to read a book that's why you need to find something else to do with your mind a house is not a home. When I climb the stairs, you turn the key. To, oh, please be there saying that you're still in love with me. So you don't feel like you're at home. I mean, you might be at home. You might have everything cleaned up and everything's being washed and everything's being tidied and whatever, whatever. But a house is not a home with no love in it. And that's bigger than self-love because I'm seeing the self-love. But you want, like, external love, you know. That, that happy family life, love, okay? And a house is not a home without the love that you want in there. So that's what I have for you, Divine Feminine, all right? So, um, yeah, read a book. <laughs> that's the biggest advice. I, yesterday was meditate. Today is read a book, all right? So Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, let's go to uh, the love messages for today. Next video, thank you so much for your time as usual. Thank you. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, this is your messages of love. This is my personal Just Dream Guide deck, Twin Flame Oracle deck. Y'all, it is on sale right now. TikTok shop and on my website. Go to JustDreamGuide.com, click on shop, and it'll be there. But anyways, let's get some clarity on today's messages just to wrap this reading up. Father, give me what Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine need to know. All messages of love, okay? 
somebody truly wants to reach out, but they're not ready yet. I'm just hearing that completely. They're not ready yet. Bottom of the deck says, I didn't mean it. They're not ready. They're still sitting at the dock of the bay, watching the time go away. <laughs> Anybody know that song? No, I'm old. Like, sitting at the dock of the bay, watching their time roll away. Seriously, because they're not ready to reach out yet, you know? But they're still in love with you. If you're ever questioning that, that's, you know, because they want this happy, loving family. You're thinking about it, and so are they, okay? Everyone's thinking about this happy, loving family, how, how great it would be to be together, especially right now during this time. But the focus can't be on that is what I'm hearing. The focus has to be, unfortunately, the focus has to be on finances, but I'm seeing that they haven't found the balance yet between routine of finances and love because you can have both. You don't have to pick one. You know, but this is finances in the correct way. So let them do it in the correct way. Because I feel like in the past they did it in a let's get money type of way. You know, doing whatever to get some money. You know, scheming, scamming, jamming, whatever they was doing was not the correct way. And they got a lot of bad karma for it. They're literally digging themselves out of a hole. Look, betrayal. For money. They did that. <laughs> They're literally digging themselves out of a hole. And I said that and I looked at this card and I'm like, wow. Yeah, because they fell off a cliff trying to chase it trying to chase money money does not need to be chased anything you chase runs away so again this person was choosing money now they're like i gotta get my life together this is more about stability for them their intentions to get money is different they're not looking at dollar signs anymore they're looking at oh i need this happy loving home and i need stability for that and for that i need financial security so their mindset is different when it comes down to attracting this money, okay? They're afraid that you're dating others because they really, really have wedding on the brain. They're like, have you moved on? Because I really want to come in and give you a ring, but I just can't afford it yet. And I'm hearing that I was stupid. Oh, two, two, two on the timer as I say that. I'm hearing somebody saying I was stupid to let you fall through the cracks, to even have you in the opportunity way of uh, opportunity to be dating others, to give you the opportunity to date others, because I want you to myself. Oh, I just heard matrimony real loud by Wale, where he was like, because I'm selfish, but I want you to myself. Don't want to see you sell, or something like that. Matrimony, see you about to cry, something, something, something. I don't know, but if there's a question in my heart, you got it, don't belong to anyone but you. There's a question of my love, you've got it, baby, I've been making plans for you. <laughs> That's so crazy because they have been now, you know, at first they weren't, I'm going to be honest with y'all, at first they weren't, and this person has a blindfold on, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this person has a blindfold on, at first they were just definitely, you know, just chasing dollar signs, and now they're like, man, I messed up. I was chasing dollar signs, I was chasing tail, I was chasing drugs, alcohol, whatever was a good time, a fun time. Look at wedding back here at the bottom of the deck. Baby, I've been making plans Oh love. You might be blocked or you might have blocked them. Um, Father saying, whatever the case may be, let it lay, okay? Don't change the outcome of this. If I say that they're going to call you and they need to call you and you got them blocked, they will find a way. Do not change what you're doing. Continue on your path. That's another card that came out. Thinking of you. So they are thinking about reaching out to you. They might have you blocked though because they need to get their stuff together is what I'm hearing. Okay? They are thinking about reaching out to you completely here. But they need to get their stuff together. And uh, Or you might have them blocked. You might even be dating others. Okay? But they, they still need to get their stuff together. They do have love on the brain right now, okay? Confirmation, excuse me. Give me one more card to wrap this reading up, Father. And that came so quick. Bottom of the deck says patience, and it says mirroring. Okay, so while you heal, they heal. And that's so crazy because it's the hand hearts, and then it's the hand hearts. Y'all both want this happy, loving family here. Y'all both have the same end goal. Okay, and now the person has turned around. I'm hearing turn around. So somebody has turned their life around, and or at least they're trying to. So the more you keep your, you know, keep on that road that you're on, the better they get, okay? And we got patience here at the bottom. So just, again, like I said at the, at the beginning of this, my nose is itching because they do want to reach out. Like I said at the beginning of this, they do want to send you a message. But you got to have patience on that, okay? Because they do have... They want to create the stable environment that you truly deserve. You don't want them coming back in and shifting your money. You don't want them coming back in and shifting your mind. Allow them that time because they do want to be serious this time. 
wedding came twice, okay? That's what I have for you all for today. I hope this information helped and blessed you guys. If you would like a personal private reading, go to justdreamguys.com. Book a personal private reading. Also on YouTube, Daily Zodiac Signs, they're posted. Don't forget to follow the channel, like, share, and subscribe so you can see your Daily Zodiac. It's under Zodiac Signs. It's on a, um, a playlist. So I keep it there for you guys so when I post, I can just boom. Um, also, my deck is on sale. Like I said, I'm finally selling this deck. Everybody keeps saying, like, where is it? How do you... What's, what's, what deck is this? It's 100 cards, you guys. It's 100 cards. It's 85 bucks, but it's 100 cards. And it's very detailed on the Twin Flame journey. You guys know I've been doing the Twin Flame readings for a while now. So I got a lot of, you know, insight on the whole journey from start to finish. Some of the blockages, some of the things that you might want to know. Um, the video for it is posted if you just want to see a preview of some of the cards. Also on my website, justdreamguide.com, if you go to shop. There's also a like kind of like a spread of the cards, but you can't see all of them because that would be unfair. You can just kind of see and get a glimpse of some of the cards that I use and just know that they definitely do resonate most of the time to people. Like, you know, again, all I say when it when I say resonate, sometimes the revert the roles are reversed. That's the only difference sometimes, okay? This uh twin flame music oracle deck will be going on sale in about a month. I'm working on that as well. So all these songs and stuff that you guys keep seeing me pull, things like that. I created this deck because I love music and I channel music a lot and I just want to help with people who do intuitive readings like I do okay so that's what I have for you guys thank you so much for your time as usual hearts 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 I appreciate y'all so 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 very much as usual and I will see y'all next time thank y'all for showing the love and the appreciation and the support see y'all next time